Hey what's up guys, Sino here and on this video I just want to talk about the latest update note which is 1.1.54 So on the latest update uh, we have the new hero which is called the Little Red Hood or uh, Ruby which is cost 599 diamonds or 32,000 battle points So this is her background story, I don't want to read it because I don't want to make this video so long I'll do the gameplay of Ruby soon So this is her skills, let us just go forward through and I don't want to explain because I don't want to make this video so long So this is this is all her skill can read it and you can see in the gameplay and I, I also will do a Ruby gameplay soon And the weekly free hero rotation for this week is 8 free rotation heroes So this is just a normal free hero rotation and the new skin for this update which is pretty cool February Starlight Permanent Skin Mia Tone Captain The new Mia skin Alright and the exclusive event skin for Chinese traditional spring festival Chao Dragon Boy a new skin for Chao and the skin for Ruby Cat Girl which is cost 296 diamond also the HD Bruno skin the best teacher which is cost 749 diamonds the previous update was um, the Yunzhou skin which is uh, the HD skin that cost 899 diamonds and this update uh, they release a Bruno HD skin and this is the new features for this update they add a report function for avatars and the chat content on the home interface interface add the translation function for the chat content on the home interface and this is the hero balance adjustments the sign HP growth increase from 200 to 220 which is just a significant increase for HP growth for Sun Okay next is Eudora She got the buff and also she got the nerf The fault lightning bonus coefficient increase from 1.2 to 1.6 I'm not really sure how it works on this But yeah let's proceed Attack range decrease from 6 to 5.7 Just 0.3 decreases his her attack range and the cooldown increases by 2. The Thunderstruck bonus coefficient decrease from 2 to 1. So this is mean that she got nerfed. So the bonus damage to main target increases from 50% to 100%. So this is going to be the overpowered Eudora because the damage from the Eudora ulti will deals 100% bonus damage to the main target which is pretty crazy I think uh, so many people will use either after this update and the cooldown increase by 6% which is another nerf and I think Eudora will get slow for his cooldown and attack range decrease from 6 to 5.7 and they add the screen shake effect on action effect it's going to be cool than before Alright, for the god Mystic Favor, skill effect increases from 5% to 6%, just 1% increase. And okay, the next is Saber. Saber got nerfed. Triple sweep attack range decreases from 8 to 6.8. Uh, flying sword damage fall off of hitting multiple times is adjusted. They nerf the saber a little bit for the fanny. Another nerf, but just a significant nerf. Steel cable basic flying speed decreases from nine to eight. So which is mean um, fanny will will become slower than before. All right, next thing is alpha force swing adds a limitation on HP region effect five times effect of basic HP region at most which is when you using the second skill it will only regen 5 times at the most alright the retro impact the basic damage decreases by 60% his damage decreases by 60 skill bonus coefficient decreased from 1.5 to 1.3 so alpha got another nerf so for Rafaela it just the recommended gear for Rafaela just a gear for her okay the Franco Furry shock mana cost is adjusted from 40 for all level to um, 40 and so on. Iron hook its cooldown at the top level increases by one second, just a significant um, nerf. 
I guess, yeah. Alright, for the Kagura, I don't really understand what what she got nerfed or buff. I think she got another buff. Um, I'm not really sure on this Kagura. You can see it in the game. If Kagura has got buff or nerf. Alright, for the Mia. Fission shot. Okay, Mia got nerfed. Her fission shot damage bond for the additional target decreases from 0.35 to 0.3. While Mia is getting weaker than before. For Lolita, protective shield cooldown increases by 2%. Alright, and for Belmont. Belmont got nerfed. Belmont got buffed. His basic HP increased by 60 points. Basic armor increased by 2 points. Basic HP region increased by 5 points. Belmont got buffed, and I think many people will use this Belmont after the buff. Okay, this is the gears adjustment base killer. The increases physical and magical resistance from the unique passive. Gosh is adjusted from 2 points to 3 points. The second one is Raptor Machine. The increase Physical attack from the unit passive guard is adjusted from 4 points to 6 points. Okay, number 7 is just the battleground adjustment. You can read here, they adjust the vision of heroes, remove the protection mechanism in brawl mode, increase the rewards gold provided by, by monsters, adjust the stat of super minions in brawl mode, and it's pretty much you can read it here. They increase the attack range of the resurrected lord. Yeah, the lord now will attack more further than before. Improve some skill description and make them more specific. Then they adjusted the surrender time in match up and ranked mode to 6 minutes. And the brawl mode, AI versus human mode is adjusted to 4 minutes and also in custom mode is adjusted to 1 minute. Alright, this is just a system adjustment. Um, you can read it here just um, not, not so big change. They optimize the private messages, um, the cyber skin, golden warrior, the Franco skin, wrestling butcher got optimized, and also the visual effect of hero display page. And they add the feature of one tap upgrade for upgrading emblems. Okay, for bug fixing, they only fix the bug that the number of buff layer cannot show correctly in the battle. I don't know which one, but yeah, this is pretty much all the updates in this 1.1.5. For patch notes so I hope you guys did get this um, announcement updates and will you buy the new heroes Ruby and also the new skins so that's all guys for this video and I hope you guys did enjoy it and as always thanks for watching and for my next video is going to be the Bruno skin gameplay or Ruby gameplay just stay tuned be sure to subscribe if you haven't and as always thanks for watching keep calm and keep mobile peace out